This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Seniors Helping Seniors. The latest census data shows nearly one third of all seniors live by themselves. Unfortunately, that puts them at a higher risk of injury, loneliness and malnutrition. Independence is important in our golden years, but so is having someone look in on you. Seniors Helping Seniors offers in-home care services to brighten the lives of seniors in our area. It's a service you are probably qualified to provide. I know which one I want. Growing old doesn't always mean losing independence. Sometimes it just means needing a helping hand and a smile. <laughs> That's the idea behind Seniors Helping Seniors. We help them with things they can't do anymore, like maybe change the linens on the bed or do some grocery shopping, or we'd ride them to the bank and to the beauty parlor. You know, it, it, things that we would do for a parent is what we do. The name says it all. A company that hires senior citizens to assist other seniors. And like many other companies, Seniors Helping Seniors is looking to hire. For the last two years, I've had a waiting list with usually a dozen names on it. Amy McDermott is the director. She says current employees see the job less as a service and more like giving a little helping hand to a friend. All of my employees except two are over the age of 50 and only a few are under 60 and most are in their 70s, a few in their 80s. Um, but it's somebody who has a lifetime of experience. It's What we do for our customers is what we would do for a parent. There you go. There are a few requirements to work for seniors helping seniors. The first, have reliable transportation. So you have to have a car in good running shape. Um, I do have a few little, little grannies who drive trucks. And a way to communicate with Amy. So that means they have to have a cell phone and know how to use it, but I'll even give them a couple hours with a, a technology geek to make sure that they know how to do what I need them to do, like uh, leave a voicemail, set up voicemail, clear their voicemail box, send a text message. A background check is necessary to protect Amy's vulnerable clientele. So there is... Uh, federal and state background screening, uh, fingerprints. Uh, there is a drug test for illegal substances. And some people use uh, some, you know, prescribed medications that might show up as a, you know, a potential red flag. But we work that out between the doctor and the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. You know, as long as it's a, a, a legitimate prescription and they're not using, you know, sleeping medication on the job, you know, I think that we can make that work. Once hired, the job offers flexible working options. Well, I want everybody to work at least six hours a week. So that could be one six hour shift or two three hour shifts. But we have people who want to work 40 hours a week and we try to accommodate everyone. That flexibility extends into the holidays. Not uh, every customer needs us on a holiday, but some do. We have some caregivers who are fine working holidays because they celebrate the day before or the week after with their own family. Um, so we can always make it work. Just common courtesy runs this ship, you know, and it, and it works really well. We've been doing it almost 10 years. I'm looking for a book here. But by far, the strongest selling point Amy offers for those considering becoming a Seniors Helping Seniors employee is what you get back. I'm told over and over that I've changed my employees' lives, and I always say to them, that is not true. Um, I may have put you together with somebody, but you changed your own life by signing up for this job and by getting off the couch and doing something, you know, doing something important that brings value to somebody else's life. It's a gift. And we're giving them such a gift, and they're so grateful. But at the same time, we get back just as much as we get. No question about it. Most seniors helping seniors clients live in eastern Sussex County. Amy tries to make sure her employees don't have to travel too far from home.